It's 28 days since I would have taken the Sputnik vaccine all the way from Russia. And it's time for my second dose. And I'm about to go, you know, do the brave thing again and take that second dose of the vaccine. But I see now uh, the CDC is now saying that once you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. But guess what? I wear a mask. Me taking no chances still, even though I'm vaccinated. So I encourage any and everyone to take the vaccine if you haven't. And if you still got skepticism about it, well, uh, do your research, decide which one you're comfortable getting, and just get one. That's the main thing, just get a vaccine. We're not telling you which one to get, but just get a, a vaccine so that you can protect yourself. So it might be a little wait, so I got my water and I have my sanitizer and I got my mask. So we're gonna be on our way. I mean, it's not much, if you can see. I'll give you a little idea of my little outfit that I have on. Yeah. So, just ignore the suitcase in the back. Please don't be up in my business. Just ignore the suitcase at the back. So, I'm on my way. So, yes, persons have concerns about the coronavirus vaccine, which is fine, which is normal, because not everyone is more or less eligible for it. So, I would say to those who know to themselves that they're eligible they don't have any underlying conditions to get the vaccine because the more people get vaccine the likelihood of us coming out of this pandemic that's been going on since 2020 will be sooner and that way we all can enjoy our life so there's a lot of people out here and as you can see, this is part of Guyana, that's coffee. Because the Ministry of Health is all the way over here. But we're going in from the front. And we're walking down the road to go in. So there's a line this time around. And there's a lot of persons coming to get this second dose. As you can see. So we have to wait. It's gonna take a while. We're at the Minister's Secretariat trying to get some vaccine and oh, this is the line. We're all about this vaccine. I don't feel that way. So I'm back in the car and I got my second dose of Sputnik vaccine from the Ministry of Health. Um, the experience, <laughs> I don't know, there's something about this second dose that felt like I didn't see blood the last time. Um, this time around, I can't even show you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this, I guess I, I build up my body too much. There's too much of blood. Let's lock this door, safety first, because we don't know who's who. Yeah, so it wasn't painful. Uh, I felt it when it got into my body. I felt it, I really felt it. Like I didn't feel much the last time. And again, the nurse did the little breathing thing, breathe in, breathe out, which works, because it kind of makes you relax. And I looked away because I'm not really fond of uh, needles, so. <laughs> Shubai wasn't going to take set up I feel any kind of pain so I just decided to do that look away um, however I met two interesting people like while while I was waiting for my 15 minutes for observation because after you take the vaccine you have to wait 15 minutes before you can leave and while in there I met two wonderful people who are going to share why they took the vaccine also so take a look. 
I'm I feel more safe now. No, it's not that you can contract the virus, it's that you will have something to fight you will fight it off, even as you try to build your immune system. So once people or more persons are aware of what it is, they, I think they feel more comfortable to take it, knowing that we have something and I, I would think of it like a tetanus like you have something that helps to fight off whatever it is that comes the vaccine. Take the vaccine. Paul well, Rufin. And the reason for me taking the vaccine is as mentioned earlier, awareness. It's better to have it than to not have it. In case of infection, I can better fight off the virus. So I feel more secure having it. See, it's not just me alone telling you well you heard it from two complete strangers i do not know them like i i love the fact that they were bold enough to take that um initiative of getting the vaccine and this is me just trying to encourage other persons to take the vaccine because again you're protecting yourself and those around you and by extension the entire nation so that we can all get out of this pandemic that's been going on for a while now and i know everyone wants to travel go back to normal of course, get a soca fit. Who doesn't want a soca fit? Yeah, I remember soca fit. Exactly. So if we can get a soca fit, we gotta make sure we take the vaccine. So this is just my little encouragement to persons to take the vaccine. However, I'll keep you guys updated uh, if I get any side effects because the last time I took it, which was 28 days ago, I had no side effects. None, 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 nothing. Not even pain in the arm. I didn't feel anything. And let's just say I slept on the same arm the night. And the next morning I was expecting some kind of pain, but I didn't, I was disappointed. So keep following and I'll keep you updated and be safe and be smart.